I thought all you needed was a pink dot sticker to become an organ and tissue donor. Now it's very different. There is an official registry through the state of California. So there's two ways in which you can become a registered donor. The first one is by going to the DMV and saying yes to organ and tissue donation. The second way in which you could become a donor is by going to the DonateLifeCalifornia.org and registering your wishes as a donor. As a first responder, my top priority is saving lives. If you are in an accident, our job is to make sure that you get to a hospital to get the care that you need. As human beings, we don't look as somebody that we may or may not let live or let die. We do our best and everything within our power and everything within our training at all times to keep a person alive. Our job as trauma nurses is to save lives. That's why we all went to school. That's why we all do what we do. And we work very hard to save people's lives every day. The pink dot notifies us at a point where it's appropriate to look for organ donation, that that's what your decision is. And we treat everyone in their time of illness and sickness the exact same. I can't imagine doing my job without organ donation being an option. When I was 17, my liver failed. Only the sickest people get to the top of the transplant waiting list, and I was one of them. I was supposed to go home on a Wednesday, and that very same day I fell into a coma. I don't know, I woke up on a Saturday with the liver transplant already. If it wasn't for organ donation, I wouldn't be alive today. I wouldn't be here. Someone gave me the gift of life, and now I have a future. After 50 years of marriage, I lost my husband, Jack. I thought he was too old to donate, but I was wrong. His body was able to help many people, and I celebrate his life every day of my life. This can be his legacy. He can, he can do something even though he has passed away. It's like it happened when it was supposed to happen. It is morally and ethically permissible to the Catholic faith to donate the organs of your loved ones. I believe that God only needs your soul. And if it is possible, I encourage you to please leave your organs here on earth. It's an act of charity and the greatest gift you can ever give to someone. Organ donation is a gift to humanity, and high value is placed on acts of compassion. Most religious groups accept organ and tissue donation as a gift of life to fellow human beings. So this is uh, completely in accordance with the teachings and the spirit and the practice of Buddhism. We learn to let go, we learn to give, so why not make use of the useful parts of our body to, to give a life, to help others. In Jewish tradition, pikuach nefesh, saving a life, is a paramount principle and obligation, overriding virtually all other principles. I believe there can be no higher gift than uh, to give this gift of life, and uh, I have no hesitations or any reservations about putting this on my driver's license, as do my friends and colleagues and family members. When we think of organ donation, we think about the donor giving the gift of life. It's an opportunity to take the sickest patients and almost instantly transform them, restore their sense of health and well-being, sometimes almost overnight. You can save lives by being an organ and tissue donor. Check yes every time you renew your license or ID. Be a donor. Save lives.